Good day everyone, Maggie B here for Apps for iPads with a very informal overview of an iPad application called SoundNote. Now some of you might be familiar with a product called LiveScribe and it's a pen that when you write on paper and you go back after the fact and you tap on any of the words that you wrote in your notes it will play the recording of the sound that was going on around you at that time, making it a great tool for lectures, business meetings, webinars, and the like. Well, I thought SoundNote would be just the same way, and I wish I could say that it was. Um, as I'm trying this out, I have this open right now to a note that I started, and you can record and you can play. Um, sound as it would be um, recording it as I am writing. Right now it is set up for typing. But when I'm sitting in a webinar or a seminar or uh, a business meeting, I am not going to sit there and type. It's just, it's not in my makeup. I am going to be just jotting down notes. I might be drawing diagrams. Um, so I need an application that can do all those things. And I would think that most people would like that option also. If I switch this over by tapping on the pencil, it brings me a uh, graph paper that I can write on. I found though, if I, if I, there's no wrist guard, first of all. So there's, no, and see, it's not interacting very well with a stylus, and I do not care to write with my finger. No wrist, it's not writing. Um, since there is no um, wrist guard, I find that I have I put marks on the bottom of the paper, and because there's only one edit view it's going to be what you see is what you get and you what you're writing is going to be awfully big on the paper I mean it's okay maybe if you want to just if you want to do um, you know diagrams or something like that that might work you know something that you're working on like that that might work uh, but when you go to actually try to write on this you can see that it's not working very well I also found that sometimes when I would touch on the graph paper it would move which is very disconcerting that seems to be doing okay it's just inconsistent and when I need it to write, I need it to write. Um, I'm going to show you, I did do uh, a webinar with it, and I found I had to type. I couldn't keep up because I couldn't, it wasn't consistently writing. So I was typing, I was doing an online webinar. So I was watching it on my laptop and typing on the sound note on my iPad. And it is pretty good. It has record and play. If I hit play, hey, John Carlton here. Well, you're going to hear that you know it did it did record it. If I type, if I tap on any place, it is going to move to where um, where I was typing at the time. If we go down to lesson two, it moves over to six minutes. If I go to lesson three, oops, it's still there. wants to bring up the this is disconcerting to me too anyhow it does it it'll move to the general area of where the um, the recording was I did take if you tap over here on the upper right hand corner you can email it you can email it with audio and there's file sharing in, uh, involved in it I did email the document separately and emailed it with audio now if you start and stop your audio um, that's how you're going to get it in files when you send it it's not going to combine it all into one file because what I had done is this was a webinar that was in three parts so it was three um, 
three different videos. So I start and stopped as I was setting everything up and I, I found much to my chagrin that when I emailed it, it came in three um, audio files. So it doesn't know enough to put them back together and which is fine if you know it's going to do that, but it would be nice if it had, if it had kept them all together. So anyhow, I think this would be a wonderful application. The idea is great, but I would like it much better if it was more integrated into um, accepting handwriting and letting me sit there in a natural situation and just taking notes and doing quick jots. And um, when it gets to that point uh, in its life, um, span. I guess then I'll probably absolutely love it. At this point, I would use it only if it was necessary to record the audio so that I had it for playback um, and I was in a situation where I was able to feel comfortable typing um, and not distracting people while I was doing that. Okay, well, that's that's my take on sound notes. This is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. See you on the website and talk to you tomorrow.